something something maxi. <laughs> hey, just a quick disclaimer. This video is from the perspective of a new player to Yu-Gi-Oh! I've only been playing for about three months, and if I get anything wrong or say anything wrong, uh, feel free to correct me. Uh, but yeah, that's about it. Uh, and let's just get into the video. I just got back from Las Vegas, Nevada for the Yu-Gi-Oh! Championship Series or YCS and I kind of just want to talk about like the experience, what it was like, because um, it's super fun. If you're like me and you're kind of new to the whole like uh, competitive scene, and this is kind of like my experience uh, so far. So as noted on the Wikipedia, YCS is a monthly tournament for Yu-Gi-Oh! It's held in several places all over the world and it's a two-day event. So when you get there, it's not like a regular convention like you might be expecting. Um, it is first and foremost, as it should be, it's first and foremost a tournament ground. So you're going to see like tons of tables, tons of people getting ready for their games, lots of people registering. Um, there's a lot of Yu-Gi-Oh going on, um, as, as it should be. Egyptian God card right off the bat. Oh, you got two. You got all three. So from what I understand, the prizes range from a prize card, which is like some ultra rare card you can only get from the tournament, to things like a game system or a, a, a special mat or something like that, um, which isn't as impressive as some tournaments which give out like cash prizes. But, you know, according to this uh, Reddit comment that I found, um, some people think that the lack of like a big cash prize is actually... Uh, healthy for the game because it becomes more of a hobby rather than it being like a very competitive environment where everyone's just trying to win and people forget to have fun so personally i have no idea but you know this year it was at the world convention center um if you've ever been to a con it's kind of just like that you know big floor lots of space for people to like go and do their thing oh my god <laughs> tables are everywhere lots of people doing Yu-Gi-Oh stuff um, lots of people talking, lots of events uh, happening, people getting ready to do their thing. Unlike a lot of cons, though, there actually isn't very much merch. Like, if you're used to going to, like, Dragon Con or Super Con or something like that, there is, there's going to be, like, rows and rows and rows of like vendors selling merch related to whatever con that is but that's just not a thing in YCS now don't get me wrong there's there there are vendors but there I think there were like maybe two shops like two official shops that were like selling things here I'm not sure if that's like a rule thing or if it's hard to get in but there just wasn't very many um shops um what there was a lot of though are like people who are selling cards um i ran into quite a few people where i was like yo i just like i do i just like sat down to just chill for a second and people were like yo you got some trades you got some trades and i'm like oh yeah i got a got a couple trades um and they'll see what you got and we'll go back and forth um the interesting thing about that though is that like there are people who are like uh there i, I met this one guy right and he said he flew out all the way from italy um for this ycs and it's like Yo, he just he, he doesn't even play the game. He's just there to like to for the basil. He's just there for the um for the business aspect. And wow, you're flying all the way to Las Vegas for a Yu-Gi-Oh tournament? Like it's like, you know, I guess for me that kind of I guess that kind of like puts in perspective like the gravity of like how much like the business of Yu-Gi-Oh. But you know, if you don't actually want to participate in the tournament, you can kind of just show up to the convention center and you don't have to pay an entrance fee. Can we just go inside? I, yeah, I hope so. Which is surprising if you have been to like a convention or something like that. If you're going to like Supercon or Dragon Con or Comic Con, um, you tickets can easily be like 30 bucks ish. By the way, I didn't actually enter the tournament. Um, I was going to, but the deck that I wanted to use didn't arrive in time. So I, you know, I didn't want to enter with half a deck, which, you know, I probably should have done that. But <laughs> so speaking of decks, the main deck this year in 2024 is the Fire Decks. Um, there is Fire Kings and Snake Eyes. Um, super common. A lot of people were running it. A lot of people were piloting these decks. And, you know, as a new player like, coming into Yu-Gi-Oh!, when I see, like, tournaments having, like, one main deck, it kind of makes me think, wow, it kind of makes me a little disappointed because, you know, I, I, I think it would be much cooler to see tons of different decks and people building their decks all in different ways and different archetypes. But Yu-Gi-Oh! seems to be the kind of game where like every year one or two super powerful decks will come out and you simply won't be able to compete if you don't run a version of this deck. Um, of course, there are rogue decks and things like that. They get some wins, but, you know, the most winning topping decks are going to be, you know, the thing that everyone expects, which is, you know, I I wish there was more variety, but um, I feel like Yu-Gi-Oh! has kind of... Um, been like this for a while this is nothing new and i'm sure people have complained about this in the past but this is just like you know from an outside perspective man i wish you know i wish people played different decks you know i wish um that was a thing but 
I don't know. It's just something that, you know, I was thinking about. I don't, what, what if you don't want to play Snake Eyes? You just don't participate in that year, which is kind of, I don't know. I, that's kind of disappointing, a little boring if you ask me, but. So this is, if you're like me, this is super interesting because like I haven't played like, uh, over the table Yu-Gi-Oh in years. Like I have cards and I play when I was a kid. Um, but outside of that, I've been playing video game Yu-Gi-Oh, like, you know, Duelist of the Rose and everything like that. And most recently I've been playing a lot of Master Duel. I am playing against Naturia Labyrinth Snake Eyes. This, this is the worst person in the world. And it's so crazy seeing cards you've only seen like in Master Duel, like in real life. Um, the environment was super cool. Lots of people. Everyone loved Yu-Gi-Oh. YouTubers were there. Um, I did not. So I, I actually saw Cali Effect, the YouTuber uh, Cali Effect, um, which is super cool because I watched a lot of his videos. I'm way too nervous to say hi, um, but I he was like right in front of me. I'm like, God damn, that's that. That's that dude, bro. I'm trying to be like you one day. Type B. Um, if you watch this, I saw you. I didn't say hello, but but we were you were at the uh, what's it? We were at the uh, the food court. You were saying hi to people. Um, yeah, I was like adjacent. Um, but I think the main reason why I think YCS is a good thing to go to isn't even the um, you know you, the tournament's fun, but like the idea that you can be like around people who play the same game as you, being around all these like like minded people. I feel like that's super cool. You know, I know like. There's like a lot of like toxicity in the Yu-Gi-Oh community where it's like, yo, you play Labyrinth. I can't stand people who play Labyrinth or you play Sword Soul. I, I, I would, I would not trust my children with people who play Sword Soul or whatever, but it's like, I don't know. I feel like, you know, just being in a group, just this big collective of people who all kind of do the same thing, uh, was super, su uh, was super fun, super rewarding. And I would love to go again. Yeah. It was a fun event. Lots of tables, lots of, lots of things. Um, I had a copy of bonfire that I tried to sell. Um, the guy I, that I talked to, like, uh, I said no at first because I wanted to think about it. He actually offered me like a really good deal on it. And then I said no. And I texted him like afterwards. He just never responded. So I have a copy of Bonfire. Shit. Um, subscribe. And uh, I might subscribe. Leave a comment. Uh, I might give it away to the top comment. I don't think I, I don't want to play Fire Decks, bro. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a ninja player. I don't play Fire Decks. I'm not going to do it. Um, thanks for watching. And uh, yeah, happy, happy, happy dueling, I guess. Oh, I saw so many exposed asses today. Welcome to 